नमस्ते वेलकम टू अवर टी सैट ग्रूप वन सर्विस गईडें क्लास फ्रम जुलाई फस्ट आनवर्स वी आर् कंडक्टिंग दिस गई क्लास इन पॉइंट आफ फॉर् द प्रिपरेशन आफ ग्रूप वन सर्विस एग्जामे एज यू नो दैट सैंस एंड टेक्नजी इज वन आफ द मेन इंपारटेंट कॉन्सेप्ट out of 13 areas for the preliminary examination in science and technology you learn you practiced and the various areas like uh, india's achievements in science and technology nanotechnology basic computers digital technology digital platforms and other branches of uh, sciences like uh, physics chemistry biology geology and biotechnology so among all these things the cyber space the cyber security and digital safety also major areas so today we are going to discuss about the digital safety what is digital safety how we are going to maintain the digital safety because uh, now the total world becomes as a global village we using a digital platforms so when the number of users are converted in terms of digital platform so how to take the precautions and safety measures in the digital platform now what kind of digital safety you have to adapt we are going to discuss it now what is cyber wellness this is a very important word the cyber wellness refers to the positive well being of internet users and a healthy cyber culture for the internet community so means here when the number of uh, uh, internet users are increasing dramatically so we have to maintain the cyber ethics because uh, we have to respect uh, the other people attitude and aptitude also this is a very very important the cyber wellness involves the first one understanding of the risks of the harmful online behavior means uh, some of the people who are users cyber attackers are there they are using uh, morphing also they they will send harmful emails virus softwares correct so this is a very important understanding of the risks of harmful online behavior okay someone will say it's a otps so when you and some will say different uh, emails when the people access the email the, the virus attacks will be and the thefts their personal information professional information also sometimes uh, the very sensitive information also so for that reason you have to understand the risks of the harmful online behavior this is the first one and the second one an awareness how to protect oneself and other internet users from such behavior this is very very important so everyone has an awareness how to protect ourselves that's the first thing and second one is other internet users also because we have of course we have passwords we will protect our information and very important thing here see the total information total books everything never now is in the in the digital platform so there is a copyright thing here so you prepare one video okay so without taking a permission from your side when someone if if they copy the total information which is the uh, transmitted as in a video it's not correct because so the people can download can use only open resources not in this. there is a intellectual property rights are there so you have to respect those things that's a very important a recognition of the power of the internet to benefit ourselves and the community at large this is a very very important by using internet just now we discuss details after especially uh, after uh, pandemic uh, means we can simply call it as a post pandemic conditions 
the post pandemic conditions is the usage of internet is anonymously increased. So, we did all the transactions money not only money transactions other transactions also in the digital platform. So, when we did all these things means you are benefited. So, it is a, a time saving and of course, energy saving everything. So, a lot of things are, are saved. So, means uh, once you are using internet in, uh, in a maximum way means you have to respect other people also and its nature also. So, means you have to maintain the cyber wellness that is a very very important. So, cyber wellness is a broad term actually this word is a broad term that including of the first thing is cyber ethics. Maybe all of you know that what is a cyber ethic means how I treat others means see uh, mostly now in, in, in what. So, there is a different uh, uh, social media is there different means we have different kinds of the social media means whatsapp is there, twitter is there, uh, instagram is there correct, facebook is there. So, through these uh, uh, different social uh, networks, so mostly someone will say uh, different uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, critics unwanted critics. Uh, and uh, either maybe a political uh, critics or some personal critics and they are posting and they are thefting the personal information, they are morphing the personal information and they are using in an another way uh, it is not correct means here uh, how I treat others that is a very very important clear that is called a cyber ethics. The next one is cyber security what I do to keep my stuff safe because we will uh, we'll, uh, save that information in Google Drive uh, in my drive. So, we will say we will save so much information may, may be personal may be professional. So, even organizations also will save their information ok which is some um, their information, but uh, so if you uh, by using uh, uh, different malwares or uh, viruses. So, if you spoil that one, distract that information is not a correct one. So, we have to maintain the cyber security and we have to respect the cyber laws also clear ok. Next one is cyber safety, the cyber what I do to keep myself safe. So, cyber safety is very very important because our information for example, you are doing uh, some uh, money transaction your bank transactions. So, you have to keep your password in a safe mode that is that is the reason generally uh, the bank officials also will suggest to us. So, so frequently change your password correct once the password is changed means there is a uh, less possibility uh, a less risk for a uh, thefting also you should not share the OTP or password to other people. So, like uh, then generally they are giving more safety measures uh, for uh, these uh, transactions still some of the people are doing uh, the wrong thing here. If unwanted mails are do not accept unwanted mails and do not uh, access uh, the unwanted websites also. If you does not know do you does not aware about the uh, websites. So, if you open it there is a possibility for malwares and viruses also which uh, distract your software and your system also clear. So, we have to maintain cyber safety. What is cyber wellness values? This is a very very important. The first one is responsibility. Responsibility is being accountable for your behavior. An example of you being responsible as an internet user would be to play online games only for a fixed and reasonable amount of time. So, see this is very very important. So, we have to maintain so the through internet we are doing we are playing online games, but a certain time that is a very very important. So, if you, if you uh, spend if of course, your children even not only children yourself will uh, play uh, unlimited time it is not uh, correct. So, some like PUBG other uh, online games some people are losing their lives also because they are committing uh, suicides also means and on the especially the students uh, are spending maximum time 
for uh, doing online playing online games and they are killing their valuable time. So, you have to maintain, maintain the responsibility means you, you have to take accountability for your uh, behavior that is the first one is a uh, responsibility is one of the cyber wellness value. Next one is respect to respect other to have a great regard have a regard for them to appreciate of them an example being a respectable would be to communicate politely with others while writing emails or posting comments on blog or on discussion form. This is a very 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 important. So, when you are writing an email or when you posting a comment on a blog or when you uh, participate in a discussing form. So, your behavior your way of communication should be polite. But, uh, so, uh, unparliamentary uh, language or uh, uh, criticism and uh, or uh, different kinds of uh, uh, behavior, rude behaviors all these things should not be communicated, it is not correct. Your communication should be highly polite when you are doing a, a when you are sending or you are writing emails or posting comments in social networks and discussion form, forums. Okay. Next, compassion is a feeling of wanting to help someone in trouble. For example, you are being compassionate if you are supporting a friend who is being cyber bullied or reporting the act to parents, teachers or any other persons of authority. So, you have to help because of if the any your friend or well of, of course, neighbor if any person is being a, a cyber bullied means here is is uh, uh, suffer from the cyber attackers. So, you have to uh, compensate uh, and we have to give the support to that person and uh, resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover from undesirable change or incident. For example, uh, being resilient would be respond appropriately not to give up if you have faced any uh, disturbing experience online. So, this is a very very important and the one more important thing is integrity. Integrity is the quality of being honest and fair. For example, if you follow copyright regulations and do not uh, copy paste content from the other sources of your school assignment then you are exercising integrity. So, this is the most important uh, uh, thing important value cyber wellness value that is integrity means here. So, you, sh you should be honest and you should not copy right if, the, if it is there is. So, there is a co copyright problem. So, you should not copy you should not cut and paste the information even at your uh, school your school children for example, the school children will not copy the assignments from the their classmates. And one more see most of the people are starting uh, YouTube channels. So, most of them they are they, they are uh, simply uh, they are posting they are they are posting some videos by uh, what you call screen recording. So, it is it is actually it is a cyber crime. So, means here because the video was developed by the uh, 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 certain organization and that organization has a copyright problem and you should not take even uh, there is a copyright problem for example, in a movie uh, of course, in a theater uh, one movie e e is playing. So, you record that one and you posted that uh, uh, video to other means here. So, means that is a copyright problem not only th this one even digital books also. So, means the digital books means here now the books are mostly all the books are digitalized. So, there is a copyright one. So, we call it as a IPR system means intellectual property rights means, means here. So, if there is no possibility to take uh, uh, copy or cut and paste of certain content or the concept without taking the permission of the, of the writer or writer or writer or the AV maker. So, you have to take the permission and and if it is comes under the creative commercials and if it is a open resources. So, then only you can download those things copy those things otherwise. So, if it is a personalized things here you have to take the permission 
from the particular person who developed it, who created, who wrote it. Clear? So, you have to maintain that integrity. This is a, these are the things means uh, responsibility, respect, compassion, resilience, integrity, all these are the uh, different cyber wellness values. Clear? Okay. Now, we are uh, going to shift to the next one. What are the common threats for the cyber wellness? The cyber bullying, cyber predators, gaming addictions, identity theft, copyright infringement, palygrams and malware. These are the uh, common threats to cyber wellness. So, cyber bullying and cyber predators, gaming addictions. So, this is a, one of the most one here. Mean as are you heard already you heard about the PUBG and other games here. So means uh, it's uh, it becomes as addict for those people who are uh, uh, playing those online games here. Identity theft means uh, I will discuss each and every one. What is this? And identity theft means you should not uh, stolen uh, the personal information or professional information from the uh, any. Uh, social networks. So, it is there is no right uh, and it is a it is a threat and copyright infringement and pallagrism means you are just you are cut without taking a, a permission from the uh, writer uh, author uh, if you take the information as a cut and paste or uh, that is it is not correct and, and malware sending malwares sending virus softwares to uh, the different websites and thefting the information is also a, a, a common threat for the cyber wellness clear. So, these are the different threats in cyber wellness, cyber bullying, cyber predators, gaming addictions, identity theft, copyright infringement and palygrams and malware. Okay. Now, we will discuss uh, each one. So, what is cyber bullying? We are using word Cyber bullying, cyber bullying. Cyber bullying is using technology to harass someone by sending or posting mean or threatening and indeterminating messages. Means uh, so we are sending a uh, different um, uh, messages uh, to a person and you are harassing, harassing one person is is comes under the cyber bullying. Okay, example of cyber bullying includes means here. Uh, abusive emails, malicious posts on social network sites, inappropriate image tagging. So, means here you are taking a uh, for example, you are sending a, a inappropriate um, uh, images, okay. even some morphing images also to uh, are you are uh, tagging those images to that, per, that person or the social network, uploading of embarrassing photographs, creating uh, fake profiles or websites designed to hurt another person and and so on. So, here some people recently and the different YouTube channels also different news are, and even social networks also different news are, are posted which is totally fake. So, it is it comes under the uh, cyber bullying and sending various uh, malicious, uh, malicious uh, po uh, softwares, malicious post. So, when you open that mail then they, they, it will attacks the virus and, and sending abusive um, emails. These all this comes under the cyber bullying. Simply cyber bullying is technology means harassing someone by sending or posting different kinds of messages that is called is a cyber bullying. And cyber bullying has a serious emotional consequence consequences and can have the victims of bullying depressed and anxious with lowered self esteem and suicide thoughts also. So, when you send uh, when you done uh, the cyber bullying what will happen weaker mind people and of course, who have uh, 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 um, giving more uh, uh, importance for the self esteem means uh, their self esteem will be lowered and they will get depression and become more anxious and finally, they will commit a suicide and there is a suicidal uh, 
thoughts improve in their people. So, that means cyber bullying will leads to a suicide attack. So, this is a it is not acceptable. Uh, so, oh, cyber bullying is a crime. The next one cyber predators. So, means cyber predators. What is cyber predators? Cyber predators are adults who exploit children and teenagers by using internet communication tools such as mobile phones, chat rooms, social network sites and even emails also. Their main motive is a sexual abuse. They use attention, affection, kindness and sympathy while interacting to manipulate children and teenagers into thinking they care and thus build online relationships. So, maybe already you are uh, hearing that this cyber predators means here. Uh, so, actually uh, for example, uh, their gender is not male, but are female they will say at is what they require the gender and they will uh, send a different uh, uh, photographs actually the what the photographs are they are sending it is not correct and they will their main motive is sexual abuse and they will show their attention they will uh, 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 show their affection through their uh, messages and they will show their kindness and sympathy. So, means they grab the total uh, attention attraction towards them and manipulate the children and the teenagers. Finally, they will change the direction of way of thinking also. So, these people are is called cyber predators. Uh, once uh, the um, once the um, people uh, believes this uh, cyber predators trust it, it establishes and sensitive information is gained. So, after uh, these people after uh, believing or uh, trusting those people so means they will sim simply they collected the sensitive information from those and find the personal meetings often ending a great emotional and physical harm to the child or teenagers. So, this is a this is a very important thing here. So, first they will show their affection, attention, kindness all things sympathy uh, through their mails messages and finally, they grab their uh, uh, trust from those people and they will collect they will gain the a sensitive a personal information and finally, they push that they will grab the great great emotions from those and they may finally, they will do the physical harm to the uh, that child or teenage. So, that is called cyber predators and the next one is uh, gaming addictions. So, gaming addictions. So, this is now this is a recently uh, developed uh, uh, cyber uh, attack that the gaming addictions. The maximum children are suffered with uh, this gaming addictions. So, gaming addiction is an excessive or uh, compulsive use of online games at the cost of health, education, real life social engagements and even cleanliness. Last year it was added that diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders published by the American Psychiatric Association left untreated gaming addiction can lead to social isolation, mood swings and inability to cope with the uh, real life. So, this uh, the people will becomes as a addictors for the gaming and they will uh, leave the total uh, surroundings and environment they will live in that particular uh, environment only finally, so there is a possibility for social isolation. So, they will they would not consider the family they would not consider the society and they, they was always in that particular mood only and there is a possibility for mood swings and inability to cope with the real life. So, definitely is they are not maintaining the real life uh, situations and as these are, these are the things which was given by the diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders which was published by the American Psychiatric Association. So, this is so uh, this is a minimum responsibility and the main responsibility of the parents we have to uh, 
avoid the children from this uh, uh, excessive or compulsive use of uh, online games. Okay. So, means you have either you chain lock or other things you have make uh, a phone lock to and we avoid uh, this uh, gaming addictions from the uh, games, online games especially for school children and teenagers. And next one is identity theft. So, means as you know that identity theft means here uh, identity theft is a fast growing cyber threat where a person makes unauthorized use of someone else names and personal information such as passwords, usernames, banking or financial data to commit theft or other crimes if often occurs through a data breach, virus and phishing scams. Phishing scams are called because they aim to fish our personal information. So, why we call it as phishing? Phishing means here, so it's, it aims to fish our personal information that will allow access to important data, money and other financial assets. So, as you know that uh, identity theft is going on, uh, this is a fast growing cyber crime, cyber threat. So, generally this uh, someone will uh, make unauthorized uh, else name, so they will collect our personal information, they will th theft our passwords, user names, uh, bank uh, information, financial data uh, through a data breach or virus or phishing because uh, this is uh, uh, social engineering uh, all these things by using this one they will collect this information, they will theft our personal data and this is called uh, uh, identity theft. Clear? So, this identity theft is not is a most dangerous and now moving to the next one is copyright infringement and telegram. So, copyright this is a, actually just now I said this is a copyright investment infringement takes place when a person copies distributes or publicity performance or displays copyrighted work without the permission of author or the creator. Simply now just now I said so means here uh, one video was published by one, one channel or uh, uh, one person who crea that creator. So, by using this cell, cell phones, they by using our uh, what is screen recording simply they copying the total one and they will say that is their video, they posted that video in their YouTube channel. It is a copy copyright infringement, even uh, books for example, di digital books means here. Uh, so, they have uh, they have the copyright. So, as per intellectual property rights, we should not copy, cut, paste or uh, taken the whole or some part of that without taking the permission of the author or creator. Okay. Plagiarism is representing someone else work is as our own. See, see generally now. So, we, for example, one PowerPoint presentation is posted in one uh, okay one um, website. Okay, so by changing just the name of that PPT and if you say that's your own or video anything, it means the work may or may not be copyrighted. For example, copying a sonnet written by Shakespeare and claiming it to be your work but not copyright infringement as it is work in public domain. Clear? So, someone uh, having of course, oh, just uh, I have uh, is taking again example of Shakespeare, but uh, so that at the, at the time there is no copyright pro, uh, thing here. So, simply you copy it and you say uh, that is your book, you written and you change a small by change that is the reason. So, uh, if you say uh, without taking the permission even though it is a golden book means uh, you should not copy that is a very very important. And uh, the very important one is a malware. A malware is a sort for malicious software is a software that gets installed in your laptop or desktop or computer 
or a smartphone and performs a multitude of undesirable tasks such as stealing passwords, deleting files or reformatting the hard disk. So, this is a thing. Uh, called malware. So, what will there happen to it is uh, by using this malware it steals our passwords deleting our files and uh, common examples of uh, it just it reformatting. So, it formats our hard disk. So, means our hard disk will be uh, destroyed. So, that is some and here some uh, uh, malware I am going to discuss about that is a virus worms trojan. Okay and uh, trojan hearts spywares these are the different kinds of malwares so virus a computer it's a um, virus means a simply it's a computer program file capable of attaching attacking to disks or other files are replicating repeatedly without user knowledge or permission okay so means uh, when the virus is, is entered into our system what will happen means it replicate without our permission more number of times. So, it means finally, that file will be or that disk will be is destroyed and the worms the this is called parasitic programs that replicate, but do not infect other computer program files. They can send copies of other computers via, via a network. And uh, the worms means uh, it is a parasitic program that replicate, replicate, but do not infect the computer programs that is very important. And the next one is Trojan horse, a seemingly harmless program that you knowingly downloaded. What you do not know is that also conceals destructive backdoor that will allow attackers access to your system. So, actually uh, Trojan horse gives a backdoor way for the attackers to attack your system. So, it uh, actually does not uh, harm, it does not uh, harm directly to our system, but it opens a backdoor way to the attackers and it uh, uh, allows the attacker to access our system. That is a uh, uh, malware is called uh, as a trojan horse and spyware uh, exploit infected computers are for commercial gain delivering unsolicited pop up ads and monitor web browsing activity among other things here that is called a spyware clear so this uh, uh, like virus uh, worms trojan horse spyware all these things will be a concern malware and it disturbs our system it stalls uh, are that the things here uh, our personal information and other information ok. Now, we have to take the uh, the spot uh, last one is uh, smartphone safety ok. So, you have to take uh, a security software that is a very very important use uh, security software to protect your phone from malware attacks. Most malware apps also come with the uh, authentic options for your device. So, do not download uh, various apps, various apps, various apps. So, without ha having knowledge or awareness about the apps in your smartphone. If you download those softwares, it, it, it allows the various kinds of malwares and virus and management of settings. Explore the, uh, the settings on your, your phone and customize them for uh, uh, location reporting, app, app installation, tracking online behavior and also Wi-Fi network. Selecting strict option setting allows you to friend, um, fend off undesirable access to your personal information. Do not take it as public Wi-Fi and if you open the public Wi-Fi there is a possibility there is a possibility for the entering into the malware and app preview. So, you have to uh, avoid downloading apps that are not hosted uh, at reputed app stores. So, that is very important and restriction of access. So, you have to maintain lock your phone with a pin code or uh, 
pattern lock. So, that is uh, that will because uh, when this ensure that your phone is stolen the the thief cannot immediately access information on it. So, what the information is there? So, that the theft cannot or the thief cannot access your phone and turn off public wi fi already I said. So, do not uh, use a public wi fi to shop or access your emails. These are the various uh, uh, precautionary things for a smartphone. So, this session not only useful for your examination of point of view, even for your regular life, daily life also, it is highly useful. I think so. Uh, you understand this one, maintain this. Definitely, we have to maintain the cyber security okay, and uh, digital security, digital safety. Clear? So, okay. So, maybe I, I, I hope you understand all these things, maintain all these things. Thank you.